In this video, we're going to take a look at the lip command inside of Autodesk Inventor. Now, this command is a faster way to perform sweeps that will add or remove material around a complex set of edges so that you can have two mating parts come together. So if you think about the methodology involved with creating a sweep, what do you have to do? You have to create a sketch. You have to put it on a plane that makes sense. You have to define all the geometry by essentially sketching it. And then you finish the command, you start the sweep command, and then you have to pick your path and your profile. Inventor does allow you to pick an existing part edge without having it to be sketched first. But that wasn't always the case. So that's why the lip command was created. It made the process of creating a sweep around the edges of parts a little bit faster so you didn't have to go through all the rigmarole of creating the sweep sketch itself. So here we have the lip IPT. And if I zoom in here, you can see that these are two separate solid bodies. I have a yellow one and a beige one. And I want to create some way that these connect together without just meeting faces. I'll go start the lip command. And on the command here, we can do a groove side or a lip side first. I'll do the lip side first. I'm going to choose these path edges on the inside here. And then for the guide face, I'm going to choose this face here. You can see the preview already generating, showing kind of a square shape that goes all the way around to add material to the beige shape. So here I'll go to the lip tab for geometry. Now I'll start modifying these things. Notice that we have the ability to add an additional little hop down here on the lip. However, I'm just going to add a size here of 0.7 millimeters for the height of that lip. And then for the thickness here, I'm going to have it be equal to the thickness value divided by 2. That's thickness with a capital T. I'll go ahead and say OK, and that generates that lip on the inside. Now, I would also like to have a groove, because right now that yellow geometry overlaps it. So I'll go back to the lip command again. And for this one, we're going to choose those inner path edges again. And our guide face, that same face there. Or you can toggle through and have it try to pick up the bottom side of the other face. That might be a little bit more authentic. Notice how my path edges disconnected because I didn't actually grab anything that was on the path edge. So what I'm going to do here is actually cancel this and make my selection process a little bit easier. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the beige solid. I'll restart my lip command, grab these edges, and this guide face. And this will be a groove side. So I make sure I'm cutting into the geometry. And for the groove, again, 0.7 and thickness divided by 2. Now your values will keep in here so that when you're trying to make up matching geometries, it tries to remember that. I'll choose OK. And there's the groove side. Turn on the base solid again, the beige one. You can see they are matching up. No additional geometry that's being left over or artifacting. It basically made a smooth cut there. However, there is some visual difference, as you can see, but not much. I mean, I create a lip there. and I got a little bit of a groove on the other side. That's fine. Essentially, though, I have a mating set of solids now, so that when I turn these into separate parts, they actually will meet and match back up when I put them together.